Hi, hello, and welcome. I've got some fun new art supplies, and I thought it would be fun to deep dive into the difference between heavy and soft body acrylics. Specifically, I'm gonna be testing Liquitex because, well, they're the same brand, so we can give the best analysis between the two kind of forms of acrylic paint. And I'm also just really excited to play with these. I've played a little bit with the heavy body ones, and they are pretty similar to most of the um, fine art paints that I use for my landscapes, uh, things like Master's Touch and Windsor and & Newton, but I haven't ever tried the soft body. I've really been getting into using craft paints because I like the liquidy aspect of it in some of my nicer pieces of artwork, and so I'm curious to see how these soft body perform and if it's kind of a similar feel but maybe with better pigments. So at first to test these, I want to take three colors and I wanted to do a blue, a yellow, and a white so that I could do some mixing to make some greens. But I don't have the same blue in both sets. I wanted to do a phalo blue, but there isn't one in this soft body set and then none of my other blues quite match up. So I'm gonna actually switch this, this out for the purple because it is the same shade of purple. So we'll do that, a yellow that matches, and two and two titanium whites. We'll be testing the heavy body on the left side of this canvas pad and the soft body on the right side. And you can notice right away with the heavy body that they are very stiff very viscous paints. They actually kind of stand up similar to, you know, peaks on egg whites. They are, these would be great for texturing because if you wanted to leave thick brush strokes, it would show that texture. For each of these colors, I first just want to kind of see how they move, what kind of making a stroke and trying to push it, adding a little water does, as well as I'm going to put a Sharpie line for each one of them so that I can see how much coverage each of these colors actually has compared to the soft versus heavy to see if that's also a difference in the amount of coverage you're going to get with these two types of acrylic paint. My first impressions of these paints are they are thick, but they are really smooth. You get a very nice consistent line, and when it does peter out, it's great for dry brushing. They, in general, have great coverage. There is a little bit of that black that peeks through the yellow when I test that, but not kind of as much as I had expected. The colors are beautiful as well. One thing I want to address before we move on to the soft bodied paints is that one, I do think these little squeeze bottles are cute, but with every single one that I had to remove the cap from, I lost a bunch of paint because it just kind of squirted out from it. And this happened on every single one of them. It was really messy. And I also just felt like since they're more expensive, I was losing some of that paint. These paints are a lot more liquidy, so they don't make those little peaks. They're more like little mounds, but the colors are still beautiful. The main difference I notice here is how much more coverage you get, how much more full it is, and how much easier it is to mix the water in. I really like these. I can already tell you I'm about to have an addiction. I'm so pleasantly surprised that despite being a thinner paint that you don't lose any of the pigmentation or even really much of the opacity. The yellow is definitely more opaque when over a black line, but you can't really tell in the actual color. It's really vibrant on the white. I wanna do another test just to see how well these colors kind of mix together. Our yellow and purple aren't going to make the best color. It'll be kind of a muddy color, but it will be interesting to see how it mixes and how it mixes in with the white. 
I'll test both the heavy and the soft where I kind of mix the colors together, see how much coverage, try to put about as much paint of each one on without water first. And then I'll do a second test with the water just so you can get an idea of what happens when you thin each one. Let's zoom in just a little bit so you can see how this paint moves. In general, the heavy body ones do mix and blend pretty well, but they are thicker, so it's a little bit more difficult than I'm anticipating the soft bodied ones to be. Here you can see how the soft body ones kind of mound or dome instead of having peaks and they move really smoothly. These are so smooth, it's just a dream to kind of blend these together and they are so pigmented. I'm so surprised. They have kind of a similar feel to using a liquidy craft paint where you can really spread it around, but the pigments are just undescribable. And I think at this point, I'm, I'm a little biased. I also, in general, feel like you get better coverage from these. You can push them further so less paint goes farther. Next, we'll try each of these on their own, but adding some water to them. And I'm gonna put about the same amount of paint down to see how much more coverage we can get by thinning them a bit. In general, the heavy ones, they thin nicely with water, just adding a little bit to my brush so that just the brush is basically wet and you get a lot more coverage. And it doesn't dilute it too much to where you're losing a huge amount of pigment. I didn't realize it, but I wasn't recording while I was doing the water with the soft body. And you can see they covered a ton of area and they didn't lose pigment. So thinning with water works great. The final test I wanna do with both of these is to just go ahead and try to paint something. I've chosen to paint a strawberry and I'm not entirely sure why, but I'll go ahead and do that with the heavy body, and then I'll do that with the soft, and we'll compare.
I personally thought I got better pigment out of the soft bodied ones. Um, and it also took me less time to paint the strawberry with the soft bodied with kind of the blending and how I personally work. That part will probably be different based on how you paint. But I mean, look at those reds and even adding the whites, it still kind of shines through. The other one, it really mattified it when I added some white to it. This one, it just kind of lightens, but it keeps the pigment bright underneath. And I feel like I have more depth on that strawberry. What do you think? Which one turned out better? Neither are great strawberries, but they do have some differences as far as the depth and the color and brightness. I tried to use the same colors uh, as much as I could and kind of the same techniques so that they would be a better comparison. I'll definitely use both of these types of paints again, but I'm really excited to use the soft bodied ones again. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. If you're local to Northern Colorado and would like to take a class, visit rebelunicorncrafts.com to see my class listings. If you'd just like to see what I'm up to, visit my Instagram at rebelunicorncrafts. Or if you'd like to see my art, you can visit my other Instagram at LaceyWalkerArt. Thank you again for watching and I hope you have a magically creative day.